Science communication has changed a lot over the past several decades, and it needs to continue to evolve so that we can solve some really big problems. I'm going to use bamboo, oil, and ice cream to explain why I think that YouTube videos made by regular scientists like me with no formal video training can be an important part of this communication evolution. But let me first show you three major changes in the visual tools that scientists have used over the past 100 years, starting with one that involved a little bit of magic, the magic lantern. This was the projector for these large slides made of two pieces of glass that held black and white photographs that were often colored by hand. Then came two by two slides in carousel projectors that were sometimes used together with hand-drawn sheets on overhead projectors. And then in the early 2000s, slowly and often reluctantly, scientists started using electronic slides made in PowerPoint. It's amazing to see how far we've come, but let's get back to bamboo, oil, and ice cream and why they can help to motivate us with the next transition by making interesting science videos that we share around the world through YouTube. So what does bamboo have to do with YouTube? Well, the second part of the word reminds me of bamboo's incredibly strong tubular stems. Tubes are an efficient way to get things done. I mean, just think about it. We wouldn't be alive if it weren't for all the tubes throughout our bodies or in all the plants that make our food. The tubular structure of bamboo allows it to grow faster than most other plants and that reminds me of how YouTube is one of the fastest and most efficient ways to quickly communicate ideas visually. Bamboo is often thought of as the poor man's timber because it's accessible to people with very few resources. This kind of reminds me of YouTube that's a lot like an open access university where you can learn all kinds of useful things even if you weren't lucky enough to go to university. Now another amazing thing about bamboo is its versatility and flexibility. I mean just think, you can eat its tender shoots, you can cook other foods in its green hollow stems, you can weave it into lots of useful things, you can tie things together with thin strips of bamboo, you can use it in construction, you can even make some pretty cool musical instruments from it. Now similarly, YouTube is an extremely versatile and flexible communication tool for science. So those are the bamboo connections to YouTube. Now for oil. Now oil reminds me of energy and lubrication. Sharing our science with YouTube videos can energize the information and help to move it from library shelves where it's often stuck or hidden in overpriced science journals that are difficult for most people to access out to the whole world where the science can have more of an impact. Now video can also improve the flavor of science, kind of like when you fry raw onions that are pretty pungent in a little bit of oil. The oil makes them delicious and very inviting. And if you've documented your research with colorful and interesting photos, you can put these into a video to bring out the rich colors and characteristics in the research that are often not very obvious in our somewhat boring and dry research publications. This is very much like when you rub some oil into a piece of wood to make it shine and help to bring out the beautiful patterns and grain in the wood. Okay, now for ice cream. Every scientist who's published their research has what I call an ice cream publication. What do I mean? Well, it's your first peer-reviewed publication. And I call it the ice cream publication because my first one was on ice cream. Well, it was actually on ice cream beans. You haven't heard of ice cream beans? Well, there's an interesting story behind how I learned about ice cream beans and then started doing research on the amazing trees that produce them. But you know what? Nobody will ever know that story by reading my ice cream paper. And that's where video can help. Video allows you to tell the stories behind your research and get people interested and excited enough to possibly read all the gory details in your papers. So there you have it. Bamboo, oil, and ice cream. Three helpful reminders of why I think that every scientist needs to be on YouTube. What do you think? Mm -hmm.